The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve from BoatTest.com, and this is the all-new Bayliner 245. We're going to give you a first look as we put it through a complete test. The Bayliner 245 has a length overall of 24 feet 1 inch, a beam of 8 feet 5 inches, and her draft is only 2 feet 9 inches. We tested her with the standard 220 horsepower engine, full fuel, and three persons, so this should deliver some real-world numbers. We found the 245 to have a top speed of 37.6 miles per hour, and with the throttle pulled back to a more economical 3,500 RPMs, she showed a best cruise speed of 26.1 miles per hour, while burning only 9.9 .9 gallons per hour. We also found the 245 to have a 5.5 second time to plane and a 14.4 second time to reach 30 miles per hour. I found the Bayliner 245 to be a pretty good handling boat. It took the waves nicely, it tracks well. It doesn't have the performance that you're going to find for a, you know, a sport boat, but that's not what kind of boat this is. It's a weekender. It's something you're going to take to the islands or take out for the day, spend the night on, go camping, things like that. And it's a protected water boat, but for what it is built for, it's perfectly well suited. When you put the 245 over into a hard turn, it really kind of digs in and loses a lot of its speed. And there's an awful lot of cavitation if you really crank it over. So you're not going to get those high performance turns that you may get in a sport boat. But again, use the boat for what it is. It's a weekender. It's not made for those hard maneuvers. The helm is no muss and no fuss, but you do have full instrumentation. I'd like to see a depth gauge go in here. It's an option on this boat, and I think it's one that every boat should have. GPS slash cup holder in a convenient space, and you've got steps leading to the walk-through windshield. And because of the Bayliner 245 small size, I also think it would be an ideal boat to take exploring up and down places like the intercoastal waterway, long rivers. Let's go check out some of the waterfront real estate and then spend the night somewhere. It's a great boat to handle. It's a great boat behind the helm. Nice room on the observer side. The seat flips back so you can watch the action off the back of the boat. Cabin space for eating sleeping, there's also an aft berth. It really is a nice boat.